What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing my experience managing an automotive shop. Let's get right into this. So as you guys know, I used to work at Canadian Tire. I did work there for about five years. I started off as a parts advisor and then I worked my way up to the service advisor and even working into the shop. And at one point I was pretty much managing the shop. There was one person that was over me who wasn't considered a supervisor, but I always considered her a supervisor because she's been there for about 15 years and she knew what she was doing. She's the person that trained me, but other than her, I was basically running the automotive shop up until the point that we got an actual manager in to do all of that. And then they ended up cutting my hours and I ended up moving on from Canadian Tire for one of those reasons. So my time at Canadian Tire managing the auto shop was amazing. I absolutely loved it. We worked rotating weekends. So I worked one weekend, I was off the next weekends and they ran the shop. And then the next weekend I was back in. So it was kind of awesome at that time, fresh out of high school to get a almost Monday to Friday job, but also something where every, every other weekend I'm off and I had to do no overnights at the time. Most of the time it was eight to five or 11 to eight that I worked and the shop was only open eight to five. So most of my shifts that were eight to five, I was in charge of the shop. And what I would do is obviously when I'm on the service counter, I would be answering the phones, uh, ordering things in for customers, dealing with the customers coming up, them handing over the keys to me. I would uh, do up the work order for them, print it out, give it to the mechanic beforehand, uh, days before anything that needs to be ordered in uh, for uh, something that needs to be done to a vehicle, for example, exhausts, uh, uh, fuel filters, oil filters, tires even, anything that needs to be ordered that's gonna be done in the shop, I do that beforehand and make sure it's in on time before the customer comes in. If it's not going to be in, I would have to call the customer and say, hi, uh, we need to reschedule, your parts never came in and, and do that, but it was a lot of fun. I absolutely loved managing the shop and uh, that's kind of why I wanna get back into it eventually get back into a service advisor role because I do have a lot of experience doing it and I kind of miss automotive. So I do want to get back into it, but doing it for, I think I did it for three, almost four years by the time I started doing a service advisor. And by the time I left Canadian Tire, it was awesome. I would get the mechanics, everything that they need for the day. I'd have it all set out nice. So I knew at which time, which uh, part I needed to give to them, or I could just simply check the work orders, relaying that information back to the customer. I'd come out and help the mechanics if it's a two person job and one mechanic's doing one thing, the other mechanic is doing another thing. I would go out and help one of the mechanics be the second person, whether it's um, helping bleed brakes or different things like that. Even on Sundays when the automotive shop was closed, if somebody came in, I would usually be working that day as the parts advisor. If somebody came in, needed a battery, needed something, and it's something I could do, I would usually bring them into the shop and do it myself and have them pay for it and get them out of here. Like we had a lot of travelers off the highway, so if people broke down, they'd get towed to us. Uh, so we'd have to also work that in. But man, man managing an auto shop was definitely one of the most fun experiences stressful at times but it's amazing to have that under my belts and it was amazing to be able to do it just because I have so many experiences of different customers and different stories that I've had throughout the years and different things that I did I was able to re replace on a Sunday replace a battery on a Ferrari one of the rarest vehicles that we had in our small town that actually came into our small town. So it was kind of insane to have that experience, but there's so many different things, so many different vehicles that I got to see come in, so many different vehicles I actually helped work on, uh, ordering for customers, uh, different appointments, different things like that. And the one thing that was crazy every year was the winter tire rush the beginning of the winter season and the end of the winter season usually the worst one was the beginning of the winter season because everybody would wait until the first snowfall and we'd have a ton of people calling in for tires a ton of people coming in to book appointments and at times we'd be backed up for two weeks 
So it was stressful, but I was one of the top people that made sales in the store. I was the reason that we made so much profit from uh, about early November till about the first or second week of December because we had a ton, a ton of people buying tires and I would sell sets of four tires constantly. I'd made like $10,000 or more in sales a day just on tires alone and just having that rush of I'm contributing that much was awesome. Now the downfall of that, because it's Canadian Tire, you get no commission pay, but just thinking back, if there was a commission pay for making these big sales, I would have made so much money off of it because I've made a ton of sales each and every day, tons of stuff, not only stuff like ordering in a ton of tires, but just we had a warehouse upstairs, the tire loft full of tires, and I just I absolutely love that. So a lot of uh, different experiences that I had managing the auto shop, and it was one of the most fun times that I had. Now, we only had... Uh, one tire and lube technician, so he just did the minor stuff, no mechanical stuff, no brakes, no alignment issues or suspension issues, and we had one mechanic. Now this mechanic, whew, kind of stressful uh, having to manage him because he always claimed that he was allergic to dogs, so he couldn't get into certain customers' vehicles that had pets. Even though he had cats and dogs at home, he claimed he couldn't get in their vehicle to drive it into the shop. If nobody else is there, he'd get me to do it. But the problem is I don't drive stick. So if it's stick, I would say, look, you're gonna have to just put it in neutral and you're gonna have to push it into the shop because I cannot drive it. And it's hard to learn stick when you're getting in the vehicle by yourself and to learn it without anybody kind of telling you and walking you through it. So I just refused. But dealing with him at times, he'd just, it's, it's one of those mechanics that shouldn't be a mechanic. And he would try to get you to do things that shouldn't be done. For example, uh, a customer, I remember there was a customer that's, uh, the tires were in good enough condition that they didn't need to be replaced for at least another year or two. And he's like, no, I'm not doing any of the work until she agrees to do the tires. Or there'd be something uh, that'd be um, like a tie rod end. No, this needs to be replaced. When in reality, it didn't. So he would try to get more work out of certain things um, and replace things that don't necessarily need to be replaced and I absolutely hated that aspect of working in automotive is I never like to undercut the customers I never like to disrespect the customers and make them buy something and replace something that they did not need so yeah at times it was extremely stressful dealing with that one mechanic but also dealing with management they'd have us whenever it's slow come in and they'd bring a bunch of bicycles that need to be assembled or um, lawnmowers or that need to be serviced or barbecues that need to be assembled and we're not licensed for that. That has to be somebody that's licensed for that. So it'd be stressful for that scenario, but it was absolutely a lot of fun managing the automotive shop. And if given the opportunity, I would definitely manage one again. It was absolutely a lot of fun. Definitely one of the highlights of my working career. And it's something I'd absolutely do again. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Another story time of me explaining me working in a, managing an automotive shop. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.